Just one year after our top defensive player shot his way out of town, we have our new top defensive player saying he wants to be here long term. And I love it. Welcome in, my name is Ryan, I'll be your pilot today. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. All right, guys, so we're talking Quinn and Williams, our best defensive player, or you could say arguably best, depending on what you think of C.J. Mosley and what he showed in three quarters of play, or what you think of Marcus May. But I think Quinn and Williams is our best defensive player, and I don't really think it's all that close. The second-year player, going into his third year, uh, has been the topic of a lot of trade discussions in in the whole Deshaun Watson thing. It, the Texans, what's the, the beat reporter's name? McLean, McCain, I don't know, whatever his name is. Keeps throwing around a star defensive player as being involved in a potential trade and Quinnen Williams obviously being the defensive star for the New York Jets. Now, that being said, I do not want him traded at all. <laughs> this is me, like, last year, you could have t- talked me into it. I was a little disappointed. I would have liked an edge rusher, and I maybe would have taken a first-round pick for for uh, Douglas to use in his first draft last year. But after watching Quinn Williams play this year, I was nothing short of, of impressed. It was really impressive, <laughs> like, really good, just going from last year to this year. So in uh, year one, he had one pass defensed, uh, zero forced fumbles, one recovery, two and a half sacks, and 28 combined tackles. This year in 13 games, he had three passes defense, two forced fumbles, no fumble recoveries, seven sacks, and 55 tackles. So the seven sacks, that's the really interesting part because the year one sacks were kind of unblocked, like oops type plays. This year, seven sacks, he looks like a dominant force. And when you have someone coming in like Robert Sala on the defensive side of the ball, it just has me all sorts of excited. Like, I want to see this dude just, I I think he's poised to break out. I really do. I think next year you're going to see a star. And Quinton Williams, well, anyway, he was on a a radio show where he's talking, radio show? I guess it's a radio show. Yeah, CBS Sports radio show, uh, where he said he would be disappointed if the Jets traded him. He wants to be a Jet for life, a long-time career Jet. And that's just everything I want to hear out of my star defensive player. And to be fair, he's only two years in. We didn't really hear the chirping from Jamal Adams until after or midway through year three. I guess the beginning of year three. Uh, and he put up with a lot of losing. And not that Quinton Williams has not put up with a lot of losing, but I think he sees the light at the end of the tunnel. I think he sees Robert Sal is going to be a good head coach. I think he sees Joe Douglas uh, knows what he's doing there. And I think he can see the tides starting to turn. So one I think it makes a lot of sense. He's drafted there. I think you fall in love with the city you're drafted by until they kind of do you wrong. And then you have, um, you know, after this year, he's he got to say all the right things because after this season, he's going to be up for a potential contract. We still have him under contract for two more years, but we can renegotiate a, a deal and put him onto a longer term deal and sort of stretch out the, the cap hits a little bit more. So if he really shows out next season, I expect there to be a contract on the line. And uh, it makes sense to say all the right things when the guy that's going to be paying you is your current GM. So I really like it. I think it makes a lot of sense. Quinn and I really like you a lot. I hope you stay a Jet long term because you're an exciting player. And it's just funny. You God bless you. And you sneeze and you... Ugh, I don't know. I'm excited. I like the guy. I think he's got a good personality. I think he's got a good heart. I'm looking forward to watching him in green and white. And I hope he stays here long term. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. What do you think of Quinn and Williams? What do you want to see from him this year? Uh... Yeah, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, go Jets.